Now, if you're a far, far, far distant future viewer of this series and you've watched 200 hours of episodes, uh, from your perspective, I just said, see you later, bye. But only seconds passed. I just split the recording and turned it right back on. It's not that late. I'm still playing tonight. Um, if you're not a far, far distant future viewer, you probably watched episode 25 and then waited a whole week in order to see what I'm, what's happening right now. So it sucks to be you. You should have waited until there was a giant backlog and then watched them all, binge them all at once. Anyway, we're in hour 200 plus. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Our skills are pretty high. We're at a total level of 1,069. Nice. Um, it's time to do some Slayer training. we got to fight lesser demons. And I'm going to use some of this new mage gear that I just got, the split bark gloves and boots. Uh, I have to look up really quick where to go to fight lesser demons, and then we'll be on our merry way to train magic up. I've been training everything but magic because of how expensive it is, but I want magic to be as high as we can possibly get it. Uh, the idea being that it will increase our combat level. It has the most impact on our combat level right now. If we can get combat from 63 to 70, then that is going to change everything. So see you in a sec. So I find out where to go for these demons. Okay, it looks like we are headed to Chasm of Fire. Looks like it's in, it's in Korand. Uh, but I have a, a fairy ring to get pretty close to it. I think that there's a safe spot in here, which is why it's recommended. I hope demons aren't strong against fire or something. Actually, this thing says they're weak against magic. I haven't really seen elemental magic having much of an impact in game, but we've seen a couple, like I think tree spirits are weak against fire. Who knows? Okay. This place seems pretty dangerous. I guess there's a safe spot. Let me see if I can find out where it is. Oh, it's right where I'm standing. This is where I guessed it might be in the back here. Oh, do not drum and staff them. What the hell are you doing, you fool? Firebolt. Here we go. Oh, it's fun to be leveling magic again. Um, since I have that new magic prayer, I might want to pop out and see if I can find an altar. There's got to be one somewhere in Korand, right? Or at least somewhere close to a fairy ring, since I'm super duper close to one. Too easy. I don't even need all this food. Maybe I can find a bank outside. I guess I don't think they have very much in the way of loot. Maybe they can drop blue scrolls and herbs and stuff. Yeah, and they drop ash, which is a bummer. Fortunately, I don't think there are any convenient altars. I think I'm going to have to warp and then come back. Womp womp. Grab the one in Camelot. I don't need any of this food. <laughs> Put it all away. I guess maybe one in case I go out to grab some loot and get bonked in the face. But even then, that might be excessive. One lobster. Ah, ah, ah. This is like one of the safest safe spots we've ever had. Just that fucking Mithril Square Shield. <laughs> Where we went through Fermentic Trials is to get it to drop. There it is, dropped for that other dude that's fighting them. I might go grab it to high alkit. It's 900 and some gold. Actually gonna world hop though, because these guys suck. This might set me up for the next quest we're gonna do. We got an Ape Atoll teleport at 64. So, I probably gotta do a quest to unlock that. Look into that now. Soul Demon Head. Cool. I didn't realize they dropped these. That's some prayer XP. I should look up how much. Also, 60 fire runes. Twice now. Whoa, two and soul demon heads back to back. Fantastic. I'm 
extremely happy about that. Okay, so this is cute. I'm over here, I'm like... I should do whatever quest is necessary for the Ape Atoll Teleport. That quest is called Recipe for Disaster, which looks like is one of the most complicated quests in the entire game. Uh, surprisingly, I'm pretty close to being to qualifying for it. Um, I need one level in thieving, four levels in fishing, seven levels in mining, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. The one that we are furthest off from is 20 levels in cooking. Um, so, that might be a new cool task to work on. And I guess in addition to those things, I need to complete a shitload of prerequisite quests. Let me go through and mark the ones I've already done. Oh, 64 magic! That just came out of nowhere. Which is supposed to be the Apatol teleport, eventually. <laughs> 65 is a wave spell. See, I guess level 5 enchant and the Karen Castle teleport will be really, that'll be a big deal once we get it. I'm going to go through and mark the quests I've already done that are prerequisites for Recipe for Disaster to get an idea of how many are remaining and how many quest points we'll get out of them. Because it looks like we need a total of 175. Also, holy shit, Slayer 49. Were all of these really close to leveling up together? Slayer 49, which does nothing, but okay. Gets us closer to 50 and then 55, which is the big one. Um, also a third and sold demon head. Each of these is worth, uh, like, 1,100 prayer. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that can get us, it'll definitely get us to 46. Might get us pretty close to 47. I'd have to see, let me check the calculator here. Prayer, let's see, target level 47, oops. 47. That's from demon heads. It would be eight demon heads to get all the way to 47, but we would get 46 for sure. I guess we'll see how many more drop. We've got 42 more to kill. Anyway, I got distracted by leveling up magic and slayer back to back there. Um, I'm going to go through this quest list, figure out which quest we would still need to do if you haven't already completed, and then find out how many quest points those are worth, and then see how many quest points we would be short of starting the quest, because we need 175 uh, in order to do the quest in the first place, but you get a lot of those points just by doing the prerequisites, so let's see. Even after doing all the prerequisites, we'd only be at 125 quest points, so I don't I don't think we're doing Recipe for Disaster soon, although it might be fun to try to do some of these prerequisites. I guess if I did all of them, that would probably get me a ridiculous amount of XP and progress into other things. So we, we don't need to like focus and do 70 cooking like right now. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> it looks like Recipe for Disaster is a sequence of 10 subquests, and that you don't have to qualify for all of it at once. That's kind of neat. Um, so... Oh, that's cool. So it's something we can keep coming back to while we do other stuff. So let's see, I can do part 1, 2, 3... I can do part 1, 2, and 3 right now. So maybe we'll do that after we see what the next Slayer task is, if it's something that we don't want to do right away. Basically, the only thing I want to do right away is Brian Rance. Um, anyway, so we can do one, two, three, and then part four... I have several of the prerequisites for, but not all of them. So I might want to start working on part four. I think that would be fun and give us something to work on. Hit point 56. That Magic 64 and Slayer 49, that's a hell of a productive trip. Excited for Magic 65. 
Actually, you know, um, Magic 66 is a significant threshold. I forgot about this, because it gives us access to the Wizards Guild, which I think, first of all, is an easier place to do pure essence mining, if we ever do normal rune crafting again. I think we will for making, like, nature runes and law runes to pay back our debt, just, just not chaos runes. I'll pay that, I'll pay the gold price for that if I have to, I'll just earn gold and throw it in the lake or something. Um, anyway, Wizard's Guild, 66, two more levels of magic. Probably won't hit it today, but it's a short-term goal. Whoa, Rune Medhelm. 11k gold? Oh shit. I guess it was highlighted by the this is important loot list. Let me try to find out why. Make sure it's not... It might be better than the Rune Full Helm. Okay, it's not better. Let's, uh, let's alk it for 10,000 some gold. Item is considered valuable. Uh, maybe not. Is it needed for a quest or something? Hold up. Whoa, shit. Apparently we can boost to get into the Wizard's Guild, and then there's a merchant inside that sells the Mystic set, which is an upgrade on the body. It's an upgrade across the board, isn't it? Boots. Oh, yeah. At least for safe spotting. I guess the split bark is good if we're actually planning to take... expecting to take some damage. Plus 20 magic attack on the chest versus the black robe. Plus three. Okay, uh, apparently I can boost to get into the Mage's Guild. I should do that before I finish in here. It's going to make this go a lot faster. Um, okay, so if I want to do this, I need to go buy that wizard mind bomb... Uh, drink. Where can I get it? Rising Sun Inn in Falador for three coins. Yeah. I can come back here pretty easily. It's just put the fairy ring. Holy crap. Bring in a bunch of money with me. I'm bringing all my money. I might, even, I might not be able to afford all this stuff. It's actually quite expensive. 120,000 for the Mystic Robe top. I think the hat might be worse than the Farseer Helm. Let's see. Plus four magic. Yeah, Farseer Helm is better, okay. But the top is 120,000, which I can't afford, right? I spent all my money on Chaos Runes. I can pick up the bottom but then I'd be broke. Oh wait, no, I can't pick up the bottom. Well, so much for this plan. <laughs> I guess I can get the boots and gloves and not use the split bark that I went to all that trouble to get. I guess I'll deposit the rune med helm. Maybe it shows up in a quest or something. Who knows? Oh. The shop sells chaos runes for about what they go for on the uh, Grand Exchange. Ish. Okay, slightly more expensive. Chaos Rune Pack Battle Staff, Staff of Fire. Portal to the Wizard's Tower, Portal to the Dark Wizard's Tower, Sorcerer's Tower. Hmm, I kind of want to get this Mystic Robe stuff now, because it's such an enormous upgrade. But I am broke. So, I guess first things first, I gotta go to this pub and get some Mind Bombs. And then I need money. And the way we're getting money now is to, uh... What can I get you? I guess I can only use... It's fine that I'm bouncing out, because I, I, the Mind Bomb only gives me plus two magic. And I just got 64, and I need 66 to get in. So I'd like to go in once, if possible. I'll just get a couple Mind Bombs, just so I can go in multiple times later if I need to. Um, okay, so my money-making method is Master Farmers. Get some Thieving XP. Drainer Village. I'll do that for a little bit. We are going to finish this Slayer task. I only got like 28 left, but... If I'm going to keep leveling magic, I want to make the most out of my Chaos Runes because they're expensive as shit uh, and I can get more value out of them if I'm hitting more frequently because I have like 
ten times as much magic attack as I currently have. I'll see, but maybe we'll get a couple of thieving levels. I think we need some for, like, Thrust for your Disaster and some other quests anyway. So, shouldn't be a waste of time. Thieving XP is always good. This set seems like it's pretty good. So we haven't had a mage armor upgrade in a minute. Hey, it's Evil Bob. Fishing XP, let's do it. There's two Rainar Seeds. It's worth... how much? 89,000? That's a good chunk of the way there. I need to double check what's the cost of the full in the six set. It's uh, 235,000. So I think I need to pull off one more Rainar Steel. It's pretty nice though, like, if I manage to get one Rainar Steel, that's about equal to a 200 frog trip, my old money-making method, and generates thieving XP, and not a terrible amount of thieving XP either, like 29,000 an hour? It's been worse. Because it was a diary entry to pickpocket Martin instead of the normal one. It's funny, medium task it looks like. Might be worth doing some fish stall robbing just so I can replenish my food supply from all this pickpocketing. Maybe I'll do that once I hit 53 thieving here, which is super soon. Thieving 53, and I cleaned it out too fast. Mass clicking. As you do. Yeah, because I think I'd rather actually fish. This is... Pretty slow. It doesn't give very much thieving XP, so I'll cook what I grabbed there. But when did I get so close to 51 cooking? I need one more fish. Alright, I'll do it. Oh, it looks like everything passed. Oh, wait, no, this is registering my post to 51 cooking. Let's not rob the fish stands. I might need to come up with a robbing strategy later, I don't know. Best way to get food, it might just need to be more lobster pot fishing. How close am I to 50 fishing? 7,000. Alright, back to Rainar seed hunting. I just thought if I could very quickly get some food to cook and thieving XP, I could do it. But, too slow. Much slower than the baker's stall or the fruit stall. Trying to four implings at the same time. Ninja, gourmet. I don't think I've seen a ninja implant before. There's a baby, a gourmet, a ninja, and another one. Eclectic, maybe? It's crazy. I do feel like I should probably get um, Hunter up at some point just because, like, implings are walking treasure chests and I'm not doing anything with them right now. I don't need to get it to like 99, but somewhere up there would be cool. Right, back to business. I was trying to see, is there like a cheap food that I can buy so I'm not burning through my, my, my lobsters all the time? It looks like I can get wine. And normally I wouldn't want wine because it has an attack penalty, but I don't care when I'm picking pockets. So I might go try to grab that before we continue doing this. I just don't want to burn through all my food is my problem. Right now I'm eating my lobsters and... Those I actually want when I'm doing non-thieving content. I think I wanted to steal four more seeds before we're done. So two two more actual successful steals in the Rainar seeds. Uh, that should be enough. Should be enough money to buy the Mystic set and have some money left over because I want to be broke after doing this and have to come back and do it again right away. I might go. It looks like I can go to Keldegrim and get infinite wine, maybe. Oh, but it's expensive there. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's one of the Rainar Seeds. So I just need to do that one more time. Is this compelling? Because although I'm sure you can really model how much money this should earn per hour, the fact that I could get lucky and just get like two or three steals in a row, it's 
kind of exciting. Speaking of two steals in a row, we did it. <laughs> I'm done. Hooray! Go sell this shit and move on with our lives. That's fucking awesome. But I'm not going to be here for another hour. False. Got super duper stupid lucky. And our seeds. There they are. Six of them. 267,500. Cool. Alright. Uh, Laroon, all this jazz. And let's grab the drink out too. Just one of them. Okay, so I'm going to buy the whole set except for the helmet. I don't need the helmet. So the Farseer helmet is better. And I went to all that trouble to get the split bark armor. Did not realize the Wizards Guild sold the Mystic Armor or that the Mystic Armor had plus one magic attack. But I think the split bark is still relevant. Like, we still want the set because it's got a quite a bit better defense bonus. It's just if we're ever in a situation like we are in this current Slayer task where uh, we can safe spot trivially, then we want to have as high of a magic attack as humanly possible, you know? 271,000 gold. Enough on its own to buy the set, I think. So we're going to Yanil. Just watch tower teleport. Let me let me top off on health really quick. We're out wild out here. That thieving from the master uh, farmer thing is wonderful because like you go from being dead broke to rich if you get two lucky clicks in a row like that. Magic of 66 only. Hey, medium hard task in the Erdogan area. That's cool. There's a shop here somewhere. There we go. We want the top, bottom, gloves, pants. Fantastic. And that leaves me with over 100,000 gold left, which is why we got the last steal. Otherwise, we would have been close to broke. I don't know if I can trust you with my supplies. You must have completed the hand in the sand to use the guild shop. Okay. So what else is in the wizard's guild while I'm here before I exit out? I think it may have just been that gear set, but... Wizard to send her teleports you to the Renaissance mine. Closer to a bank than any other NPC. Okay. Two attackable wizards. Really? Oh, let me turn that back on, by the way. Eight level 24 zombies in a locked cage. I guess that's the bank down there that they're talking about. Yeah, that's pretty close. It's not that much closer than Virok. Once I get to 66 magic naturally, I'll benefit from that a little bit better, I guess. Alright, we're uh, gonna go back and do our quest. Let me see if there's a fairy ring near Yanil. There is one, okay. New gear hype. I'll keep those foot barks set aside, but I can definitely get rid of the black robe, Zamorak robe. That's not happening. Alright, uh... Staff back. All looks great. Check out the fashion scape. Curious how I look now. Pretty cool. Unnecessary midrip and apparently underboob, but pretty cool. The game did come out in 2001. We didn't really have our shit together yet. It's interesting that the main way you can tell male and female characters apart is what do they have a midriff exposed in their gear. Oof. Gaming culture. Alright, um... Down to 903 Chaos Runes. Wow. Burned a thousand. Just finishing that Slayer task. It'll be close to 1500 by the time we're done. Although maybe all of this mage gear is going to make things better? Question mark? Oh yeah. Previously our magic attack bonus was like 37. Now it's 69. Nice. Should see if there's a magic attack cape. God capes? Acquire a magic attack bonus of 60 to wear. Okay, I need to remember that there's a fairy ring here. It's actually pretty close to the watchtower teleport. Oh, but there's a wall blocking me from getting to it easily. Alright, let's finish this goofy Slayer task that I left for like an hour. 
or to change my gear. It was worth it. I feel like it was worth it. Yet another ensouled demon head. We're not going to get enough to get to 47 prayer, but we are making progress. I think I got way more than we expected. There should be a 1 in 50 drop, and I've gotten like four of them. My god, I'm so lucky. Another ensouled demon head. How many is that? Is that six? Five. Okay. Still, though. I think we need three more. It's not going to happen in 12 kills, but if we had three more heads, that would be enough to get to 47 prayer. Alright, Slayer task is complete. 124 tasks. Let's go see what the next task is, and then we'll think about what we're doing next. Do you want to do recipe for disaster? Got a couple of the things in mind, also. 76 trolls. Okay, well, we're not going to do that right now. Um, I think I'm actually going to take a break, but I th like the idea of doing the early stages of Recipe for Disaster, which takes place in Lumbridge. I think I've got to do at least one prerequisite quest to start it. A really, really simple one. I actually, I think I watched my wife, Andrea, play through it, like making a cake. So maybe we'll do the cake baking quest. Um, so I was looking up, uh, I noticed that I've got a magic attack bonus on basically all of my gear except for my cape. So I'm like, okay, what cape? You may have heard me mention god cape earlier, so I followed up on how that works. It seems like it's a fairly dangerous thing. Uh, you have to go into this area in Ardoyan that warps you to the wilderness. Then you have to fight a pretty difficult boss that's made slightly less difficult through the use of death runes and the use of um, protection from magic prayers. Do I still have... Okay, I still have two prayer potions. Two doses of prayer potion, I should say. That's slightly different. Uh, I might need to prep a little bit better before I make any effort to attempt that. I'm pretty close to being able to make my own prayer potions, so maybe that'll be the time to try it. Um, but that's something that's kind of sort of on the list. It seems like with the Mystic set equipped, my magic attack is high enough for enemies that don't resist it that I basically never miss. Sometimes I hit for zero, but that's just because I hit and then roll to zero. I think when you miss, it, may, it plays a particular sound, if I'm understanding the game correctly. Anyway, uh, when we come back from this break... We'll go ahead and do the first couple steps of Recipe for Disaster and its prerequisites. And then we'll see what else is next. See you soon. Hey, hey we're back. Let's go do um, Recipe for Disaster. I think we have to do Cook's Assistant first, which is a super, super simple quest, it looks like. Uh, bucket of milk, egg, pot of flour. Wow. Um... The wiki says, Cook's Assistant was the first ever quest to be released. Oh, I must explain why Recipe for Disaster is the 100th quest. That's clever. It's kind of cool. So they take, you know, the least complicated quest, and then is their, their 100th quest anniversary sequel. You get it from the same NPC, I think. It's pretty funny. What am I to do? What's wrong? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm in terrible, terrible mess. It's Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely big birthday cake. Gotten to buy the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. What will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. Do you help me, please? Always happy to help a cook in distress. I need milk, an egg, and flour. I'm grateful if you can get them for me. Where do I find flour? There's a mill fairly close. Talk to Millie. She'll help. She's a lovely girl and a fine miller. Make sure you take a pot with you for the flour. There should be one on the table in here. Milk. Talk to Gilly Groats. What about eggs? I actually know where eggs are. They're just on the ground. Okay. So, pot. I should have a bucket upstairs in my bank. Let me deposit a lot of this junk here. I need a bucket of water. A regular little bucket. 
462 buckets. So many goblins. Someone's in here killing chickens. Now, I've barely ever seen bots while playing this game, but uh, I watched my wife do this quest, and this place was, like, swarming with them. Tons and tons and tons of chickens on all over the place. It was, it was shocking. She started playing on a free-to-play world, of course. Egg. There's my milk. Just gotta go find... Flour. Which I think I can get for free out of my bank, right? I may have actually already taken some and deposited it. Didn't think to search my... My bank, but whatever this is. Gonna take like two minutes, right? This is one of the goofiest themes in the soundtrack, I think. Alright, yo. What an appropriate quest to do at the 200 hour mark. Millie the Miller! Mill Lane Mill, how can I help you? Oh wait, I don't even know who she is. How do I mill flour? How do I mill flour? First of all, you need to get some grain. You can pick grain from the wheat field. There's one just outside the mill. Bring your wheat here. Pick your grain to the top floor of the mill. Place grain in the hopper. Start the grinding process by pulling the hopper lever. Add more grain, but each time you add grain, you have to pull the hopper lever again. Here's in this room here, you'll need a pot with a flower in too. Okay, cool. I love all the little processes they have like this, like, you know, having to use the still earlier. Oh, I made a stash here. I'm popping by this place. This makes me want to go through and just do all the free-to-play quests. So, hopper is here. Pull the lever downstairs. Empty the flower. Got it. Cool. I didn't realize that mills use gravity as well. Yo, cook, I got your shit. Here's a bucket of milk, here's a pot of flour, here's a fresh egg. Grab everything I need, I'm safe, thank you. Do I get to go to the Duke's party? Afraid not, only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. One day I'll be important enough to sit on the Duke's table. Maybe, but I won't be holding my breath. Hey, 300 cooking XP. I only need to do 38 more cook's assistant quests. <laughs> Alright, how is the adventuring going? Do you have any other quests for me? The last one of yours was so much fun, I was hoping you would. I might have, but it's very embarrassing. How do you mean? Well, you know how I told you it was the Duke's birthday? I had to go and collect you things to make a cake. Yes, well, it isn't. I don't even know when his birthday is. Angry. It makes me angry. I don't really care. You lied to me to get me to do you a favor? Fair enough, you're not the first, but why lie? You could have just asked me, I've been happy to help. I needed to test you to see if I could trust you. I'm in a terrible pickle and I desperately need someone trustworthy to help me out. That seems to be the problem. Well, how do you still have a job? You're obviously trustworthy, I guess I could tell you. Please do, the suffering of others always seems to turn out very profitable for me. <laughs> That's like this. You ever heard of Frenizard Van Lumcook? Uh, no. With a name like that, I'm not sure. I'm sure I would remember. He was a great chef and also my ancestor. A hundred years ago, there was a very important meeting held here in Lumbridge Castle, and he cooked a banquet for the meeting, which was so stupendously amazing that he was offered a job for life, along with all of his descendants. Say so you have your job because a hundred years ago, your ancestor was a very good cook. See how that's much of a problem for you. I'd say you're very lucky. I'd have been fired by now if you worked for me. I don't understand. Big important secret meeting that for Nizard work cooked for. It's held here in Lumbridge Castle every 10 years, and tonight will be the 10th anniversary. I've always felt like a failure as a cook. My job here is down to the skills of my ancestor. I want to prove to the world that I'm a great cook too. To do that, it just won't work. Come on, man, pull yourself together and speak to me. I thought I'd recreate the meal for Nizzard cooked all those years ago, and the one that impressed everybody so much. It's just a small problem. You have the recipe? You don't have any of the ingredients, and obviously you can't just go get them yourself? Yes, however did you know? Call it a hunch. Tell me what you're after, and I'll decide if I want to help you or not. Common enough ingredients, I must admit the recipe I'm following is very strange indeed. 
pay you up front for any expenses you may incur while obtaining them, and of course you may keep the change from being so helpful to me. These discussions will start very soon, and I simply cannot leave. I'm probably going to have to do this quest over, like, oh, tens of hours, dozens of hours. Help the cook again? Yes! I have an incredibly important banquet that I have to prepare for, and I'm using an ancient cookbook to recreate the meal. Most of the ingredients I was able to obtain fairly easily, but there were some oddities that I've been unable to lay my hands on. I need the following ingredients as soon as possible. An eye of newt, a freshly made dirty blast, a rotten tomato, and a glass of Greenman's ale. I'm giving you a hundred coins to cover any expenses you may incur. Feel free to keep the change. Okay. Let me make sure that that is, in fact, a recipe for disaster. It is. Okay. Dirty Blast, Glass of Greenman's Ale, Rotten Tomato, I have Newt. Rotten Tomato, Dirty Blast. I have Newt, I think I should already have him pop upstairs. It's so cool that they did that as the 100th quest. And then they made it, like, an insane super quest. Alright, uh... I have Newt. Greenman's Ale. But you kneel, okay. Rotten tomato. Put 15 tomatoes in a compost bin and let them rot. Shop of distaste at the dual arena. Oh, so you can throw them at people? That's funny. Add ashes to a player made fruit blast, requiring 10 cooking. Also use the one from Dig Site. Did I save that? I remember getting one. Doesn't look like it. Fruit blast. Pineapple, orange, and a lemon. Cocktail shaker, cocktail glass, and knife. Really? Okay. So I need a pineapple. I'm glad I robbed that fruit stall. Damn. Pineapple. Oh, do I even have any oranges? I don't know where to get oranges. Get a knife. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Son of a bitch. Okay. Hold on. I did have ten pots of flour. Oof. Oopsies. Pineapple, lemon, do I get an orange? Cocktail shaker, glass, so I need to that eye of newt, and probably all my money, and probably my drama staff, and who knows what else. Orange! Pick from an orange tree grown using the farming skill, bought in the tree gnome stronghold, food store, any charter ship location. Oh, that makes sense. I get the one in Port Phasmatis, that would be great. Keep you from getting scurvy, right? Cocktail shaker, Grand Tree. Grand Tree, okay. So we gotta go there anyway. This is kind of fun. Orange roots. Okay. Uh, I guess I need an ash too, right? That's soda ash, that's a different thing. Tyrus Helm, really? I wanna do Ardoyan. Gonna need to buy more law runes soon. But now I have the talisman for law, so should at some point go and uh, try to hit 54 for crafting. I know that I just voted yes on the matting a quest with a prerequisite of 55 or in craft. Alright, trade the barman. Maybe it's not him, someone else must sell it maybe. Wait, there's a cocktail glass in the background. There's the shaker. Which is fine groceries and or Grand Tree groceries. Somewhere else in the area. Blurberry bar. Bucket of milk, pot of cream, chocolate dust, chocolate bar, cocktail shake. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm seeing a pineapple, orange and a lemon. Free glass. Put this in an empty cocktail glass and garnish with sliced lemon before serving. Oh, sliced lemon. Does he sell lemon? It does. Slice versus diced. God, this game is so good. Pour the cocktail and add the finishing touches. Fruit Blast. Wow. Oh, cool. Okay. You should like that is what makes this game great to me. That's so intense. Alright, uh, I need to add ash to that, which sounds disgusting. Um, we're going to all along the watchtower. If only this warp was, like, the side of the wall. So close to a fairy ring. Alright, there's one thing I need to get from the bar here, and there's also... I guess I can get a rotten tomato here. North Bank, it says? Is it a crate or something? Where is the pub in Yanil? 
or a words chess. Oh, I see. Because it's like a it's like a place where you throw things at prisoners. Gotcha. Rotten tomato. Okay. And then I need to get a drink from the bar, and I can get my ash out. So glad to have all these teleports. Rolling magic was worth it. Bartender. Greenman's Ale. Ten coins. Gotta put this in a dirty glass. Some ash. That's soda ash. Herbivore, maybe? Yeah. All these things sound kind of disgusting. This looks disgusting, but it's what the cook asked for. Okay. Dirty Blast, Rotten Tomato, Greenman's Ale, Eye of Newt. What is... What is the plan here? <laughs> like... Yo, sup, I got your shit. Great, you're back! They gave me a hundred coins. I have all that with me. I completed another cook's quest. You are awarded one quest point, an invitation, the most amazing feast you will ever see. You absolutely must go through into the dining room to see the feast I've prepared. Simply won't take no for an answer. Okay. Cutscene. Welcome, gentlemen, to Lumbridge Castle. Oh, it's all NPCs I recognize. Spymaster. Al Kareed. White Wolf Mountain Dwarves. Pirate Pete. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to recognize many more of them. Chief of the Goblin Village. That's me, General's Republic. So I do recognize them. Scratch Logwee from the Held of Hills Ogres. Ogres call me Bone Cruncher. Phileas the Lumbridge Guide. These all must be part of the many parts of the quests. Town of Edgeville, Evil Dave. Secret meetings are so evil. I <laughs> love the animations. Emic Bar is leader of the White Knights. So I'm guessing other quests introduced me to almost all of these folks. The ruler of Apatol. Well, okay. <laughs> you sit down. Kicks him. He lost his amulet of manspeak. <laughs> Gypsy R.S. seems to be late. Oh, what now? I'm a serious old man. Oh, he's got a random event. <laughs> oh, this game is genius. Should do something about that old man. Greed. No! <laughs> They're all getting harassed with random events. Nice food. You come here. Hello? Do my dinner? No, I'm not. Culineromancer? Aha, I'm back! Did we invite you? Your chef did, and now I'll kill you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wow, this cutscene's pretty cool. Not like frozen in time. Sorry I'm late. I remember you. Arg. This is such a cool quest. You must help me defeat this evil. Okay. Whoa. Frozen in time with the culineromancer. <laughs> Talk to the gypsy. Hi. Hello there. How can I assist you? What just happened? I do have a question. A very good question. Oh yes? What's that? Flipping hippo is going on. You've heard that phrase? Tell me what just happened. The fellow over there in the chef's head is called the Culineromancer. A hundred years ago, he threatened the Secret Council with death, but was foiled by the quick thinking of his assistant, who managed to trap him in another dimension. As a result of that action, the assistant was offered a job for life as head cook of Lumbridge, for himself and all his future descendants. Apparently, the head cook of Lumbridge decided to recreate his ancestor's greatest achievement, not realizing that his achievement was not a meal, but a powerful food magic. By recreating this spell, he's inadvertently freed the evil culinary man from his prison. <laughs> when I saw what was happening, I intervened with a simple tempest cesset, so time stop. We would have time to immunize the secret council from his attack, so that we can defeat the culinary man once and for all. Yes, please. Please, it's slower and more understandable. A hundred years ago, the evil food magician was defeated and banished. Because of you and the Lumbridge Cook, he's now free. About to slaughter all these people, but I stopped time so you could protect them. Got it. Yes, I stopped time, and you have to do it, partly because you helped release him by getting those ingredients, 
Probably because I'm stuck here keeping the spell intact. Is stopping time kind of dangerous? It's such a cool like layout to this room. They're all mid-animation. What are the time of this room and this room alone? How does that work? Everything outside this room continues to flow through time. Outside this room, you've already defeated the Culinaromancer and protected the members of the Secret Council. <laughs> they don't do a lot of, like... I guess WoW has this problem where you're running into different characters at different points of history all throughout the game. Inside this room, however, you've not. Time's been frozen in this room. Outside it continues to flow, so this room is not currently what we would call the past. Any events inside here have already happened. The longer time it continues to flow outside, the more removed from normal time this room becomes. So I already saved all these council members? Yes, but only outside. What you need to do now is save them in here as well, so time can resume. Otherwise, we'll be increasing temporal pressure and the entire universe might explode. Not the whole universe, that's where I keep my stuff. <laughs> it's from the tick. In the future, which is also the present, but not in the present, which is also the past. My brain hurts. Time travel tends to do that to people. Don't worry about it too much. Just make sure you protect each council member and then defeat the Culinaromancer. Each council member has their own unique dish that will serve to counteract the Culinaromancer's spell. Expect the one you wish to save and I will offer any advice I have. Who are you? The Gypsy. My friends call me Eris. You can call me the Gypsy. <laughs> So you're a gypsy then? I live in a tent in Verak. Yeah, I think I've met her. You're a gypsy with a permanent home? That's correct, yes. Isn't that a bit weird? Did this room get bigger? That would be the time dilation effect. Time has stopped flowing in the normal way. Your eyes are playing tricks on you. Pictures absorbed by your eyes take slightly longer to reach your brain than normal. As everybody knows, time flows from north to south, so my freezing time means that this room is apparently stretched slightly along its horizontal axis. That's wonderful. Just an optical illusion. Okay, so... Guide says... So we can free them in any order, but we want... Uh, freeing... The dwarf, I think, was first? How do I protect you, I wonder? For a short, angry friend from the Culinary Romancer's magics, you seek out his father within the mountain tunnel that he guards. His fondness for rock cakes could prove key in freeing him. I so just inspect everybody. How do I go about protecting this nautical fellow? Gypsy senses tingling. If you him from the Culinary Romancer's attack, you need to feed him fish cakes. Chocolate cake instead of chocolates? The Gypsy, not a cook. Ask the actual cook in the room next door to us. General Bent knows. Neither of them were at the previous council meeting. The goblins get through leaders so fast I find it hard to keep track. The last leader died during a game of Pin the Tail on the Basilisk. If you find something they'll both eat, that should work. Try asking some of the other goblins in their village for ideas. You must have completed the big chompy bird hunting quest to help Scratch. Oh, they each have their own quest requirements. Okay, makes sense. Big chompy bird hunting. You must completed Shadow of the Storm to help Dave. Legends quest. Really? Monkey Madness. Okay, so I can do one half of the table, but not the other. That's kind of cool. So does it mark those all on my list here? Oh, wow. It's a robust sub-quest journal. That's cool. Speak to the dwarf's dad. Village north of Felidor. Fish cakes and pirate Pete. Talk to the cook. Okay, that's fantastic. That's so cool. Okay, oh, the whole time flows from north to south. What? Wow, you're incredible. The way you defeated the culinary man, so you made it seem so easy. Uh, what? The foods and that big portal thingy and everything. I love when games mess around with time travel like this. Part of that whole time bubble thing the gypsy told me about. So the cook outside the bubble remembers me having already saved the council members, even though I haven't actually gone and done it yet. Remember how I defeated him? Tracking the pirate. These fish cakes, didn't you? I did? I mean, I did. Out of interest, could you help me quickly with that? How to make fish cakes. As in, fish eggs and fish milk? Don't be silly, that would never work. Can you check to see if there's a recipe for them? Found it. You need ground cod, ground kelp, ground giant crab meat, and breadcrumbs. What do I do with them? What am I, an encyclopedia? So let's do these in order. Uh, 
Oh, it's strange plant. It's a random event? I think it might be. Strange fruit. Run energy up. Okay. Uh, freeing the mountain dwarf is what we're starting with here. Oh, I need a fishing contest time to be able to start this. No kidding. The milk gets stuff from the culinaromancer's chest now. Maybe I have to do part of the... Oh, wait, no, there it is. Oh. It's a bank? Well, that's a much more convenient bank than the one upstairs. Dag, yo. Buy food. Okay. So, bucket of milk. Pot of flour. Egg. Bowl of water. I think I can get that in my... Or as Garnian Ales. Get that Ring of Karos. So I've got an opportunity to use it in here at this quest. Gloves. Out or teleport. Talk to the barmaid. Hey, what can I get you? You get PS Garnian Ales first, I guess. Tell me about the dwarves and ale. They like it? What kind of ale do they drink? Show your special recipe. Lose money? I think not. Persuade. Really quite trustworthy once you get to know me. Secrets in the gold. The drop a gold coin into as Garnian Ale and you'll get this weird golden ale that the dwarves seem to love. Just gave you the secret. Nice. Add a coin to each one. As Goldian Ale. Ah. Uh, something about getting six of them. I know I could get these for free in Birth Orc, but you got them for that other quest. Death Plateau. Go to the tunnel under a white wolf mountain. Actually, okay, dropped a hammer. Great. I'm good. An engineer. An old dwarf. Yo. Time bubble culinary mancer freeze rock cakes. <laughs> Absolutely no clue what you're on about. Sit down and catch your breath and explain, please. Your son, the one who guards the tunnel entrance? Good lad he is. He said a special meaning he's frozen by the culinary mancer. Got back from visiting him up top. He's fine. He's in a time bubble. Oh no, he's quite okay. That was last week. Need your rock cakes to free him from it. Never would old Rohak give away his special recipe. Oh, I like that his name changed from Old Dwarf to Rohak. Not for all the golden nectar from the rising sun. Here, have a drink. The son of a thousand seals celebrating fish. Being of recipes, really like more. Don't mind if I do. He deserve another pint. Mind if I do. The pipe will go down nicely. Here we go. Several beers later. Ah, uh, yes. Best mate. You're a good friend, Rohak. Can you do me a favor? For you? I just slide down a slope of thistles with no helmet on. I need you to do that, friend. Just something as simple as making me some of your wonderful rock cakes. For your good friend? For you, anything. For a price, of course. How much gold do you want me to make the cake? What? That wasn't a dream? 100 gold, no less. Milk, flour, egg, bowl of water. I could make this. You couldn't. There's a special ingredient, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Well, here's the ingredients anyway. Your gloves sizzle with the heat from the hot rock cake. Okay. So I guess I need to cool it down. If I had ice gloves, it'd automatically cool it when I picked it up. Kill an ice fiend. Oh, charm only pay half. You're seeing double from all that drinking. So it's actually a hundred coins that I gave him. Car conductor. Tickets. Ice mount. Where the scorpions exit ballot order? What this ice mount? Ice fiends. Should just be able to beat one to death. The dying breath of the ice fiend cools your hot rock cake. Oh, that's cool, the subquests give you quest points. Unexpected. So they really added like eight quests. Give it to the dwarf. Use. You save the mountain dwarf. One quick quest point, a thousand cooking XP, a thousand slayer XP. Increase access to the culinary mancer's chest. Teleport them away to safety. You only have seven council members left to protect. Cool. Alright, so what does increased access do exactly? I guess it's probably a similar number of tiles walked since you have to do some jank when you're in the uh, basement. They don't have to climb up multiple stairs, which is nice. Buy items. Hard leather gloves, bronze gloves, wooden spoon, egg whisk. Spoon! Yes. I think that's what they just added to it. 
buy food. Shop bar cheese, tomato, cooking apple, grapes, flour, pizza base. It's convenient. Right. Freeing the goblin generals. Requires goblin diplomacy. Of course it does. Oh, I need more oranges. Oh, bitch. Bread and orange knife. Should have bought more oranges. You get some dye from somewhere near Artoyan, I guess. A nice 1000 Slayer XP. I guess from killing the Ice Fiend. Since. Oh, whoa. I hate accidentally clicking back like that. Cave entrance. No one wants. There's like a no more going on over here. Holy crap. Purple dye. I did not know this spawned here. That's convenient. I want to get another one in case there's other quests later that require dyes. Definitely been a thing before. Okay. Need an orange. Still have my Ecto file. I think I still have bread in the bank. I think I used all of it. Oh, I could have gotten spice in Ardoyan. Fishing bait, bucket of water. Buy a couple oranges just in case. Do I still have charcoal? Charcoal. I do! Fantastic. That's gonna save me a trip. Purple dye. Knife, orange, red, red, orange, knife, purple dye. Gotta get the spice still. Fishing bait. Do you have fishing bait? Bucket of water. Alright, so I had one charcoal. So spice. Spice saw in Ardoyan. Spice seller. 230 coins. Robbery. Okay, I think that's everything. Go to Goblin Village, which is north of Falador. So I guess the first quest that you do needs. The only prerequisite is something super simple. It's a fishing contest, right? I guess you can start it just by doing the, the cocktail, technically. They've already been rescued in this time. It's a fun way to address the fact that everyone's still fine out in the main game world. I don't really do quests that way, otherwise everything else is phased. Is there a downstairs place I can go? Hold on. There's the building just south of the general's climbing down the stairs. Oh, there it is. Ladder. Goblin cook. Oh, it's got a pretty robust cooking place. Kitchen. Busy doing what? Working on a new way of cooking. The most famousest goblin cook ever. I need your help. Poor face and bent nose have been trapped by a terrible curse. Maybe that white mud knuckle has not been shattered at recently. Missing one vital ingredient. What do you need? Go get it for you. Charcoal. Get it from shops in Karamja. Customs officers not like goblins anymore. Burnt trees, they get too. Smash them up with axes. But Knuckles only knows of burnt trees in the wilderness. I'm too afraid to go there. Oh, the song is called Too Many Cooks. Got the charcoal you were after. Sulfur. <laughs> Knuckles already have everything else. Sulfur and stuff. Sulfur? Follow me. Cutscene. Sure this is a good idea? Absolutely. Best idea my Knuckles ever had. I'm not really convinced that... Should it shake like that? <laughs> Animation. What that noise? Did you just hear that? Hear what? Now they're shaking too. Mud knuckles again. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> the outline on the back wall. It did? I wonder if that's permanently changed this place. Like, it worked. Look at the outline on the wall, that's great. You, the human who helped me. Mud knuckles is very grateful. We'll be famous real soon. So many results on the walls and the ceiling, everywhere. I keep calling it fast food. How fast it goes from raw to burnt, see? I need your help. Your leaders, Wartface and Betanos, have been trapped by a terrible curse. King and magic not mix. I tried that before. My knuckles had some very angry wizards at door, trying to burn staffs to cook up. You could create a dish that both the generals would eat to save them from the curse. Oh, what? Possible. Monocles tried before, but their requests they make no sense. What do they want? Bat knows wanted fruit in the dish, but warped base only fruit he like is sliced oranges. Sound too bad? Maybe, but Bat knows objects to the color. 
Bored face, he wants some nice juicy maggots. He even uses them all the time for fishing. My uncle thinks this is a crazy waste of maggots. That's the problem. Ben does not like maggots, he says they're too bland. Only eat them if they're spicier. Okay. That's from bread in the mix. Let me guess, Wartface complained, right? Wartface thinks bread is too crunchy. He prefers slimy or soggier food like the maggots. I need orange slices with aren't orange, maggots that aren't bland, and bread which isn't crunchy. That about sums it up. Bring them all to me and monocles and make a suitable dish. Okay, so I need to dye the orange. That's funny. Slices. Dyed orange. Gross. Use the spice on the fishing bait. Spicy maggots. Gross. I didn't realize I could use the spice multiple times. Use the bucket of water and the bread. Disgusting. Soggy bread. Dyed orange. Got the ingredients we need. Ingredients make no sense. Give them here and my knuckles make what you need. Here you go. Don't go blaming my knuckles if it doesn't work. Goblet hands you a gold containing some kind of indescribable gray mush. Slop of compromise. <laughs> oh, two out of two goblin generals prefer it. This game is so good. Alright. It seems like they really had a blast making this quest. Use a slop of compromise. You freed the goblins. You are awarded quest point, a thousand cooking XP, a thousand crafting XP. And I think the thousand farming XP was actually relevant. Maybe we could level up here. Good work, adventurer. I've teleported them away to safety. You only have six council members left to protect. Farming 32. You can now grow Ranar weed. Oh, yeah, like I'm ever going to spend my Ranar seeds on that. Pirate Pete is next. And then I need to get more prerequisites for Lumbridge Guide. I don't know if he's got the same food option. Spice was here the whole time. Slightly more expensive than Ardoyan. Buy items. Spork. Iron gloves. Spork is what? A melee kitchen weapon. It's a steel sword. Okay. Iron gloves probably aren't going to compete with the gloves I've found since then, right? Oh. No, it's got attack bonuses on it. Huh. Cannot be made using the smithing skill. Plus two magic. Plus three to all melee. Plus three ranged. I guess maybe I'll get another one after I do the pirate step of the quest. Seems pretty good, though. Alright. Freeing pirate Pete. Need to think sell bread. No, but I do have one bread. So let's grab... Bread. I don't have any raw cod, do I? I do. I have exactly one raw cod. Way to go past me, apparently. Uh, pestle and mortar. Fish bowl. I guess I can empty a bowl that I have. In my junk section. Molten glass. I think I still have some of that, don't I? Glass blowing pipe. Fish bowl, a needle, three bronze wire. No, I guess I used all my bronze wire. There's a bronze bar and an anvil with the hammer in your inventory. Still have bronze bars? I do. I have exactly enough. Wow. God is real. Okay, so anvil is in Varrock. Oh, I've got to ask him all the questions about the ingredients. Let me do that now before I teleport. Yo, we defeated. <laughs> so good. Protecting the pirates. You used fish cakes, didn't you? Where do I get the ground cod? Use a pestle and mortar on a raw cod. I get the ground kelp. Kelp patches off the coast near Remington. So the grinding part, all you have to do is use a pestle and mortar on it. Murphy also used to bring in giant crabs occasionally. He hasn't had any of them in a while. Oh. Ground giant crab meat. Coast near Remington. Breadcrumbs. Use a knife to slice the bread into tiny, tiny chunks. What do I do with all of it? My encyclopedia? My on the... Well, I'll wait till it tells me too. In case it matters later. Oh wait, no. Use your pestle on the raw cod. Use your knife on the bread. Let's go make the bronze wires. Did I get the needle on already? Dude, this quest is a blast. I really like that it's broken up into mini quests, because then I can try to do all the prerequisites for each of those one by one. Uh, we need bronze wire. Go to Murphy, we found it. Port Kazard, minigame teleport to 
fishing trawler. I think I need to do fishing trawler at some point for the outfit you get from it. Murphy, recipe for disaster. Tell me about the giant crabs. Still haul up a few of these whenever I set my nets about Remington. I need to get some giant crab meat and kelp. Can you tell me where I can get some? Go down there and look to see if there's any left. Go down there? What do you mean? Under the water. You get your hands on a fishbowl? I'm sure I will be able to if I put my mind to it. Why do you ask? I to rig up a handy set of breathing gear that can let you keep air inside the fishbowl. Oh, that's awesome. A barrel of air on your back, put the fishbowl over your head, and then dive over the side. Hold enough air to keep you alive for quite some time. That sounds dangerous. Not at all. Even weigh anchor with a chain somewhere easy to reach so you can climb out easily if you run into trouble. Why are you interested in crabs all of a sudden? The very fabric of space and time could collapse. Okay. People do anything for a bit of fresh seafood. Let's rip that fishbowl out for you. Attaches some tubes to the backpack and the fishbowl and puts a rubber hood inside. There you go. Are you sure this is safe? It's as sound as my ship. Let's see. Okay, hold on. I think I need to stop at the bank. I want to have armor for this, I think. You know, what's my weight looking like after that? Ooh, too much still. 13 kilograms, okay. Might build a deposit. Swap some of these out, let's see. I'm guessing the dehyde body is the best thing I can get. Alright, that's just enough. It's heavy. Alright, my character looks really cool now. <laughs> Alright, uh... Can't drop right in underwater. Five free inventory spaces. Set for a dive. Yes, let's go dive. It's three diving parties that way. Oh, I see that instead of the accumulator. Interesting. Guess that makes sense. Shouldn't be that punishing in terms of ammo. We often I like that they have the uh, like astronaut. Oh, chain to get aboard. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit, they actually have a... I wonder if they added that for this quest. This is insane. Do I have an air meter somewhere? Can't access my inventory. That's interesting. The western wall, the underwater area. Uh, this is super impressive. I'm impressed. For, like, what the game appeared to have. Here for a rocket, put it in your pocket. Two. Three. Underwater cavern entrance. No idea what's in there, but let's leave it alone for the time being. I don't know why it won't let me in there. Oh wait, here we go. Skip something. One trying to wonder find a tall plant and pick it for the kelp. In the crab pen to the north. Talk to Nung. Sea ogres? Hey, silly fish with a round head. Me? So what kind of fishy are you thinking you are? Not any kind of fishy. What are you doing here if you're not a fishy? I'm gonna get some giant crab meat. This fishy's a funny fishy. What's this fishy wanting? See those big crabs? I want one of those. I'm trying to see my big crunchy claws? I should smash your stupid round head. Always the big nettings is taking my big crunchy claws. Put them in cages and now you come to get them. Some away, little fish here. I'll eat you till he's dead. Can I buy some of the crab meat? Nah, you know real deal. I need to get that meat. I'll do your big favor if you want. Silly round head fishy. You get Nung five big skippy skins. Maybe Nung thinking you okay. Oh, mud skippers. Lots of big stones to get down there. Then you kill big skippies and bring the skins to Nung. Hopefully my gear is okay. I can always use protect from melee. So you need the stones to weigh you down so you can walk on the ground. It's clever. One, two, three, four, five. Kick off the seabed and begin swimming again. Ah. I have your giant mudskipper skins. Yes, I have the big skippy skins. Do a big favor. I think you used enough to swap the giant crunchy claws now. Give me something to make these hides with a cloak and flippers and a hat, and then you can have a big crunchy claws you can get. But it not be easy. Item of ancient power? Something from the deepest, darkest dungeon in the world? What sort of monsters will I need to fight? I best grab myself some potions, too. Will they be trapped? Should I bring cakes? Yeah, it's real dangerous for a fishy. Go up topsies, get a needle thing and some wiry stuff. A needle. Yep. And bronze wire. Yep. He's bringing three rolls of bronze wire with a needle. I can have all the giant crabs I can kill. Topsies doesn't have water for someone like you to breathe. It's real dangerous. 
There you go. I have the needle and wire. He's fishy. He finds. Give me. Use a good little fishy. Use as many big crunchy claws as you want. You get big and strong like Nug. Open the pen door. Just spoke to Nug. He said it was okay. Get some pictures just in case. I like that they did the crab scuttle animations. So you just like rotate their walking animation, maybe? That's kind of funny. Do they face the right way once they stop moving? Yeah, the, they must have done a cheat there where they make their animation face the wrong way. So when they land where they are, they just suddenly turn. That's cool. I need this many crabs. I can probably get out of here now. So I'll get an extra kelp just in case. I want a free space, okay. It's fine. Find the anchor. How'd it go? Not too bad. Got takes back in. Awesome. Go back to the cook. Yo, I've got the ingredients. I think I have to grind up the meat first, right? Grind the crab and get the kelp. Wow, you're incredible. Protecting the pirates. I have all the ingredients for fish cakes. It's great, just like before. I've been reading the recipe and I know how to make the fish cakes now. Pretty simple. All you have to do is use the ingredients on each other and then cook the fish cakes on a range. That's it. Oh, there's a page missing from the cookbook because it seems so easy, but it turns out it really is that easy. Use the ingredients on each other. Fish cake. I guess it's possible to burn it. Just be careful. Be careful not to accidentally eat it, too. Oh, damn. You freed Pirate Pete. You are awarded one quest point, a thousand cooking. Sure, a thousand fishing, yeah, that makes sense. Smithing from the wires, I guess. A thousand crafting for the fishbowl. Access to the Moger camp, really? Why? Increase access, oh, Mogers are the mermaid ogres underwater, okay. Increase access to the Canary Mitch's chest. Only have five members left to protect. Sweet. Ability to go diving and fight crabs, the ability to cook crab meat. Those 10 hit points and five bites. The crabs get their shells and claws. We can make a helmet and gloves with a chisel. Crab helmet? Oh god. It's Iron Med Helm. Super goofy. Alright. So that's three out of eight. I think Lumbridge Guide we can do next. He requires a few subquests that we haven't done. Big Chompy Bird Hunting is the first one we want to do because that also unlocks another character. So I'll uh, look up that. I'm so glad we got all skills to 30 because we passed the skill prerequisites for like everything. It's great. Okay, now let's see what's new with the Culinary Mancer's chest. I guess the game doesn't really tell you that this chest is down here, huh? Maybe if you talk to the chef more, he mentions it. Tomato, cheese, chocolate bar, egg, milk, cream, butter, spice, pie dish, cake tin, bowl. Steel gloves and spatula. The other gloves were pretty good, so. so you just keep getting gloves upgrades. Plus four strength. What are Clank's gloves in comparison? Clank's gauntlets. Oh wow. The steel gloves are. I guess the defense is slightly worse. In fact, this has an attack bonus to everything. It's pretty sweet. Oh wow, once you get to the Final gloves, the stats are kind of nuts. Okay. Cool. Let's see, what is a spatula? Spatula City. Melee kitchen weapon. Black two handed sword. Alright, so we gotta do big chompy bird hunting. I need to clear my XP counter here. It's being obscured by the light. You're probably seeing it obscured by the lights of the timer. Fishing's on the list though. Alright, I think we're ready for big, chompy bird hunting. I'm gonna go get to a uh, fairy ring first, looks like. Grab my ectophile. I have the ectophile. Hey, there's some Dougal leaves. I need those for the quest. Start point of the quest. Due east. Oh, ogres still aggro. Of course they do. Talk to Rance. Hey, you creature, make me some stabbers. I want to hunt the chompy. What are stabbers? For the stabby chucker. I want to hunt the chompy. Creature knows what Rance wants. Flying and stabby the chompy. Shows you a huge but crude bow and then starts to nod energetically in an effort to help you understand. Can it make some arrows for you? It's a chompy. Chompy is the bestest yummies for Rance. Making for yummies all the time. Chompy's a big flapper. 
Wants to average the sneaky sneaky stick to Chompy. Chompy's a kind of bird. Okay, I'll make you some stabbers, sure. You need Stixies from Anky Tree and Stabbies from Dog Bones. New music track, Chompy Hunt. Oh, Anky Tree. Glad you're gonna have the ability to make the arrow tips. Kill a few wolves, use a chisel on the wolf bones. Glad I set aside some wolf bones from earlier. Some fletching XP. Chuck down a few Aki trees for Aki logs. You need to run five logs. Use a knife to produce arrow shafts. This is the first quest I've done that's involved fletching. There may have been an earlier one that did a little bit of it. These Equa leaves. Okay, knife the Aki tree logs to make ogre arrow shafts. Find the feathers. Keep forgetting fletching is a skill. And then wolf bone arrow tips. Ogre arrows. Cool. Turn around, skip the arrows. Yeah, so nicely. Here you go. Here's your stabbers. Take six ogre arrows off you. Creature has them. Goodly, goodly. Now we can stick the chompy bird. Chompy not coming without fatty, fatsy toadies. Gotta get fatsy toadies to get chompies. Ask him all the questions. How do we make the chompies come? They love fat toadies. Toadies get big on the swamp gas. Chompies lick their lips from fussy eaters like grants. Okay. What are fatsy toadies? Chompy birds best is yums. <laughs> Gotta make the toads big and round. Where do we put the fat toadies? Over there. Hey creature, you got that? Over there. No trees place. What do you mean by sneaky sneaky stick to chompy? Creature's a bit stupid, yes? Need to sneaky sneaky and stick to chompy, then we can eat it. Okay, thanks. Enter the cave entrance north prince. Keep the item you get in here in case you plan to do a recipe for disaster later. Wow. Grant said you play with the fatsy toadies. What are they? Oh, we sometimes used to blow her on the toadies. They don't let us get in the locked box anymore. Make good fun making the toadies fat on swamp gas. I see. That's what an ogre would call a lock chest. It was <laughs> a rock on top of it. That's fucking great. I love it. Ogre bellows. Oh, so I suck in the swamp gas and I put it in the toads. That's funny. Back to the crater southwest of Rance. Ellos on the swamp bubbles. I saw somebody doing this when I was farming earlier. Ellos on the toads get a bloated toad. Ha! Nice. Flate swamp toad. Get three toads. Return to Rance. Turn to Rance and talk to them to show you where you need to place a toad to lure the choppy birds. Yes, I have a fatsy toady for you. Here, look. Show the bloated toad to Rance. He nods with approval. It's a good fatsy toady, and I need to put it in the chompy to come. Where do I put them? Over there. The toady's over there. Thanks, ogre. There go. Bloated toad. There's a chompy bird. Did they just call it that? A chompy bird. Gonna kind of shoot at it. These arrows are rubbish. Talk to Rance and offer to help shoot for him. That's why he requires range of 30. Cool. Hey there, you keep missing the choppy bird. Stabbers are worse at flying than a dead dog. Let me have a go. Too weedy. I'm actually quite strong. Please let me try. Let's require... Hands over an ogre bow. It's huge. You can barely draw back the string. Look at the ogre bow. Oh, I think I had to be a little bit quicker. I could have shot it. They're used for recipe for disaster. Really? That's crazy. Too bad I didn't shoot the first one fast enough. Nice. Pluck the chompy bird. Raw chompy. Oh, it's to make sure that only I can get the loot, I guess. Oh wow, it's worth a shitload of money for some reason. It's not all about. You got the chompy yet? Yep, here's your chompy bird. Great chompy. You must have got a lucky shot with a staffy chucker. Need to cook it. And cook it over there. We need particular about our chompy yums. We want some potato. Want something with theirs as well. Go and ask them what they want. So I need to cook it as well. Last time I did yummies, things went badly. Equileaves, tomato, this is chump, big chompy bird hunting, oh, it's seasoning as well, so tomato, equileaves, I think he said onion, maybe he said potato, potato with mine, okay, so potato is southeast, oh I didn't even see there's a potato plant here, cool, potato, tomato, equileaves, under a stool, Really just under these stools over here? Okay. Under 32 to bare hand, young imp Oh, there's a tomato. Nice. I like when they place stuff like that, get close to the quest. I wonder if they all had stuff near the quest by default, or if they did that later. It seems like a pretty common design philosophy. I hate not having the graceful outfit. It pains me. Let's 
raw chompy. Potato, tomato, and the aqua leaves of the chompy berry to make a seasoned chompy. Did you get the cooked chompy yet? Here you go, here's your cooked chompy bird. Family of ogres, sit down together and enjoy your well-cooked chompy bird. It's my pleasure. Two quest points, 262 fletching XP, 1470 cooking XP, 375 ranged XP, an ogre bow, and the ability to make ogre arrows. Cool. That's pretty sweet. Why do I want chompy birds? Did you occasionally get a pet for it? So I should be able to start the next recipe for disaster quest. Subquest. I still have to do Demon Slayer, Murder Mystery, and Witch's House to free the Lumbridge Guide, but we'll do the Ogre first. They do have all the stat requirements here. Ogre Bellows are a tool. Dougal Leaves are food, I guess? Ooh! Only the Bloated Toad, I guess, is a tool? Magical Force prevents you from making this item. Okay, I think I need it soon anyway, though, so. Scratch. The unfrozen in a jiffy, he just had some jubbly. Once again, but in English this time? Being an ogre likes chompies, and a real delicacy is jubbly chompy bird. I'm sure I could get some jubbly chompy. That's the spirit. Turn it breaks down. The only thing I which might help you get the jubbly chompy is the most confusing beast that Yelinor has ever known. The situation is lost, I'm afraid, and I understand totally if he's had not to help Scratch. You go and speak to an ogre called Rance over in the Felda Pills. Alright, I see. Yep, I'll go talk to Rance. I do pity you. <laughs> a few raw chompies, ogre fellows. Alright, so I need an axe, a uh, pickaxe. Need to make an iron spit, apparently. Regular logs? Do I still have? I do. Tender box. Um, my ogre bellows. Ball of wool, really. It burns through all my balls of wool. Oh, no, I still have some. Okay. Ogre bow. Ogre arrows. Hopefully 11's enough. So I need to make the iron spit and the... Catch some more chompies. I need to make some more wolf head arrows if I can. Chisel that. It's 15. I can probably get to that achy tree and make some more. I, just, I guess I'll just use all the wolf bones. Why not? I can do some crafting XP too. That's cool. These wolf bones are paying off, like, way after the fact, after we were trying to farm that guy from the Mithril Square Shield unsuccessfully. I think this is getting close to being good. Need to go make an iron spit really quick. Got a hammer, don't I? Of course I do. Spit. Clear the XP list again, because it's starting to encroach on top of the live split timer. Alright, uh, I don't need the chisel anymore, I don't need the hammer anymore. I want everything else, though. Well, where the hell did I get a clue scroll from? Huh, I honestly don't know how I got that. I must have gotten it before I came out here, right? I mean, I'll take it. Disorder. Disorder. Wizard's Tower Basement. Peter. Yo, what's up, Rance? Let me catch a chompy real quick here. Rance doesn't like it when you chompy hunt in his turf. Hey, I wanted to ask about hats. A free scratch, can you help? Big boss? Looks the chubbly chumpy. <laughs> Rance other lands over there, so Rance gets stuff sees for the glug lugs. Rance points to the northeast in the direction of Karamja. Okay, I'll do it. Here I am in the watery place, what now? You can just say what Rance needs for going over to Big Water or over to your place. It's the northeast. I'm gonna go to Karamja. Bit of a long walk, you're better off with a boat. For a boat, you'll need something that flows in order to make a hull. Perhaps a tree would be better? Okay. Found the tree. Just kick the tree over. Very good. Name of the old tree. Use your axe on it twice. That's nuts, okay. Trim the roots off the tree back. Hollow out a bit of the boat. I wonder if this is like giving us a permanent shortcut route to get to Garamja, so that's kind of nuts. Nuts. Boat's ready. Two other Stussy's France for us. We need the bestest groundy for the walking on new land. Bestest groundy? France, use stabby chucker and stick to dirt for there. These creatures make the chompy by the stabber. So feisty and bug sniffs the bestest yums and splash over with the boatsy. <laughs> the question marks. Go find a stabber. 
How to catch a jubbly. You're just not done red stuffsies yet. What do you want me to do now? Chompy by the stabber. Go over to their place and cook the chompy by the stabber. See a beach near Taiwo and I. Probably still won't let me cook over here or catch them. I'll try hunting somewhere else if I can. I'm surprised this doesn't give Hunter XP. There's a chop bird. Cover my ogre heroes. That's nice. Looks like I bring an accumulator next time. Try to catch a few of them here. Bummer. Try going further back. I just don't want to get attacked by ogres. That's, that's exactly the thing I'm trying to avoid. Alright. Hopefully two's enough. I wonder if more than one can spawn for one bloated toad. I think we're taking the fairy ring next. CKR. Make your way west towards the course until you find the tree with an arrow in it. That's kind of crazy. I love it. Teasing stick, huh? For the tribesmen, I don't want to get poisoned. Somewhere along this beach here. North of the coast. Don't poison me, bro. Oh, there it is. Wow. There's the arrow. That's fucking cool. Oh, this game. Small palm tree with an over arrow in it. Make the fire next to the tree. I think 100% sure I got this right. I'm a little nervous. I think it's left on the square. Yeah, that looks right. Skewer the chompy knees. Oh, cool. Hear a commotion out to sea. <laughs> I love this game. What a great boat. It smelled the chompy from ages back. It smells lish. You can lift back with us if you want. Take you back. Yes, I feel lift back with you. <laughs> oh, this game is genius. I guess I'm, maybe that's a permanent shortcut now. I, if it is, that's kind of awesome. Tell me how to get Jubbly. What's creatures say? Help with your scheme to get over to Karamja. Now help me by telling me how to get Jubbly. Oh, it gets Jubblies. That's an easy thing. Creatures a bit stupid to not know that. Just tell me. Creatures keep hairsies on. Use the big blowers on the fatsy toady. Creature makes a fatsy toady and then needs a roxy and a woolly thing to stick it down to ground. Is that everything? Ha. Huh. Fill your bellows, use them on a toad. Get around three toads to be sure, because the next part can fail. Take too much damage from these ogres here. Probably shouldn't have brought full graceful. Come here, toady. I saw that person hunting the chompy birds earlier. I'm like, what the hell are they doing with the fat toads on the ground? Like, what even is this? Quest to the swamp. Find pilot bird. Use them on an already inflated toad to create a balloon toad. <laughs> To use the ball of wool. Drop the balloon toad south of Rance. That's fucking goofy. Do I need more balls of wool? I guess we'll see. Maybe it'll just work on the first try. I'll look out. It doesn't appear you get your wool back. Okay, that's what I would. Balloon toad. God, that's so stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this game is too perfect. There's only a chance for it to spawn, I guess, so. No dice. Bummer. Oh, just give my ball of back automatically. Okay. I'm gonna go get another rock here soon. Fortunately, all the stuff I need for this is here. I don't have to go to a bank if it doesn't spawn or something. Here's a chubby bird. Keep shooting it. Wait, hey, freaky forester, I've already got all your shit. Chubby bird. Guy's big. Definitely want to recover all the ogre. Wow, each ogre arrow sells for 200 gold. Good to know. Cook it on Rance's ogre spits. Oh god, raw chubby. It's huge. Don't burn it. All right, did not burn it. Kills for 15. Okay, perfect. I love that you do all sorts of stuff for this quest, but it always ends in cooking something with it being recipe for disaster. That makes lots of sense. Don't accidentally eat it. Use your freed scratch bone crusher. 1500 cooking, wood cutting, ranged and crafting. Okay, those all make sense. One quest point, increase access to the Culinary Mancer's chest, and also, I guess, the fact that we have that boat shortcut now. We have four council members left to protect. Hey, woodcutting 51, crafting 45, snakeskin boots, and a bunch of other stuff, and this, uh, my XP list is full again, so I'll clear it one more time. Uh, that was a ton of progress, so I feel like it's time for me to take a short break. Um, let's see. Lumbridge Guide requires Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer, Witch's House, Murder Mystery. So we'll work on those three next, but we'll take a break before then. Yeah, like
We'll have to make sure we knock out this clue scroll next time, too. Free the fatsy toady. Okay, we'll be back after a break. And we're back. Let's keep doing this uh, recipe for disaster prerequisite thing. I think that's kind of a fun way to pick which quest to do. Next up is Demon Slayer, which involves talking to the gypsy. Oh, actually, let's do this clue scroll first. Glad past me left it somewhere where I could easily see it. Uh, but I'll grab my bucket of water that I'm going to need. 25 bones. 25 regular bones? Really? Huh. Okay, I think I can farm those fairly quickly if I needed to. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I gotta watch out for that button, I keep accidentally hitting it. I meant to do the gear deposit. Drawman staff... Coins... I probably just quickly kill a bunch of chickens. Get these bones. I'll bring the crossbow. Can't hurt, right? Technically only be a one slot item that I can swap to if I need to fight stuff. Alright, clue scroll, wizard's tower basements. Probably get their fastest right from here. So I'll pick up the quest while I'm here. Demon Slayer. Hello, young one. Cross my palm with silver and the future will be revealed to you. Here you go. Come closer and listen carefully to what the fortune holds for you. As I peer into the swirling mist of the crystal ball, I can see images forming. I can see you. An impressive looking sword. I'm sure I recognize that sword. There's a big dark shadow appearing now. You alright? Delrith. Delrith is coming. Who's Delrith? Powerful demon. I hope you didn't see me looking at him through my crystal ball. About to get palantired. Tried to destroy the city 150 years ago. Great hero Wally. Using his magic sword Silverlight, Wally managed to trap the demon in the stone circle. Silverlight was a sword you were holding. Where is he? I'll kill him for you. <laughs> Wally doesn't sound like a heroic name. Can't be harmed by ordinary weapons. You must face him using the same weapon that Wally used. How did Wally kill Delrith? Wally managed to arrive at the stone circle just as Delrith was summoned by a cult of chaos druids. Die, foul demon. Ooh, he's a default character. What was that incantation again? Aver Perchai Gabindo Camarinthum Carlum Patu Varada Necti. Greatest team slayer ever. By setting the correct magical incantation and thrusting Silverlight into Delrath when he was nearly summoned, while he was able to imprison Delrath in the stone block in the center of the circle. Delrath had come forth from the circle again. Evil sorcerer is already trying to summon him. Where can I find Silverlight? Passed down through Wally's descendants. Care of one of the king's knights called Sir Prison. It's the magical incantation. Aper Perchai Gabindo Cameron and Carlo. Have you got that? Do my best to stop the demon. Guthix be with you. Hold on one sec. I'll be right back. At some point, I'm, I know I've said this before, but it might be cool to try to just run through the game world and trigger all the quests so they show up in the quest log. That would take a very long time, so we will not do that. Finish this beginner clue. I did not know I could pay the toll without talking to the guards. That's... that's great. You obtained a casket. Treasure is worth around 211 coins. Who's scrolling? Blue by source. Flaps all. We don't know what that eye does. Herring, short bow, steel flop. I need to get like 25 bones for this quest, so I'm gonna farm those real fast. Guess we'll just kill chickens. It's old school, right? Actually, let's do goblins. They have a chance to drop goblin heads. Some of that prayer XP. Also, I think they can occasionally drop some sorts of glute scrolls. Oh man, we are in a different, different category than when we first started playing. Because of the way the leveling system works in this game, it can be difficult to like look back down the mountain and see how far you've climbed. If that makes sense? You can't really tell the difference between like you know level 2 strength and level 3 strength. There's a big difference between level 2 and level 48 strength. Did get an insult goblin head, which I don't think is worth... Oh, two of them. Very good. I don't think it's worth too much prayer XP, but it's more than zero. Alright, me, uh, speaking of prayer XP, let me refill my prayer while I'm thinking about it. And, uh, 
think I now have enough bones to progress Demon Slayer, so I'll do that. My god, this is kind of silly, I guess. The magic words are actually important, and they're randomly generated for different players, so I need to write them down. I was like, eh, I'm sure that's just flavor. Nope. I'm really gonna have to sit down and just clean this out. I'm getting dangerously close. I feel like once we get to 750, that's when we're in the danger zone and I need to clear out my inventory. Okay, so releasing stuff helps, it looks like. Um, so something I can do, I can probably go on a tour and deposit everything in stashes. Things that require items from stashes. That's my big fear. The reason I'm saving them is what if I need them for a clue or a quest later. So that can help me with my anxiety in that territory. Okay, don't need to do it now. So just do questing. Back to Varrock. Let's write down or screenshot the magic words. What did she, what did she say for recipe for disaster? Talk to me. It caused a time paradox. Can it when you're la la la, I'm not tired of you, la la la, time paradox. <laughs> oh, this game is too good. What's the magical incantation? Oops. Sniffing tool is my favorite. Window Shift S. If you didn't know that is the best keyboard shortcut I've learned in the last five years. Triggers the window sniffing tool. Lets you grab whatever's on the screen and then it automatically puts it on the clipboard. Go inside Virok Castle. Write down what Wally says, it will be important later. Who are you? Gypsy Ara said I should come here and talk to you. She's still alive? I remember her when I was pretty young. I need to find Silverlight. What do you need to find that for? I need to fight Delrith. I thought the world was rid of him, thanks to my great grandfather. It's back, and unfortunately, I've got to deal with him. You don't look up to much. I suppose Silverlight may be good enough to carry you through, though. The problem is getting Silverlight. I have it, but it's so powerful the king made me put it in a special box which needs three different keys to open it, and then we won't fall into the wrong hands. So give me the keys. Not that easy. I kept a key. I gave the other two to two people for safekeeping. One I gave to Rovin, Captain of the Palace Guard. The other I gave to Treyborn. Can you give me your key? Uh, uh, there's a problem there as well. Drop the key in the drain just outside the palace kitchen. It's just inside and I can't reach it. Where does the drain lead? That's a sewer. Where can I find Captain Rovin? Top of the guard's quarters. What about the wizard? Is there a Treyborn? Those in the tower on the island off the south coast. Captain Rovin. What are you doing up here? Only the palace guards are allowed up here. This is important. There's a demon who wants to invade the city. A powerful demon? Yes, very. But as the palace guards are, I don't know if they're up to taking on a very powerful demon. Not them are to fight the demon, it's me. How are you going to do that? I'm going to use the powerful sword Silverlight. Microsoft Silverlight. I should give it to you. So person said you'd give me the key. Did he? Did he? No, oh, he did, did he? I don't report to Sir Prison, I report directly to the king. I take orders from Elbred Moron. Only has his job because his great grandfather was a hero with a silly name. Wally. Sierra said I was destined to kill the demon. Otherwise, the demon will destroy the city. I have to continue on the Sir Prison thing. Why would he give you one of the keys then? Only because the king ordered him to. The king couldn't get Sir Prison apart with his precious ancestral sword. We made him lock it up so he couldn't lose it. He dropped it down a drain. Idiot. I'll give you the key. So it's you that kills the demon and not Sir Prison. Dr. Treyborn requires 25 regular bones. It tells you to farm goblins, okay. Glad we were on, on board with that. Yeah, I can probably get away with bringing only and exactly the items I need to warp back to Lumbridge. And 25 bones. Here's Treyborn. What's up? Hello, young thingummy what? Something I super dig about the quest in this game, I mean, first of all, it feels like you're playing tabletop RPG, like this is some Dungeon Master's adventure that they wrote. But also, this world just feels really alive. Um, I feel like most MMO quests I've played, Final Fantasy, WoW, that sort of a thing, it's always about going to new areas. You're always escalating and visiting new places. And that happens in this game, but it also, it's like, you're going to go to the Wizard's Tower. There's like six or seven quests that have NPCs here that are relevant to you. Like, it doesn't really feel like you're abandoning these zones, and it's really fun to go on these world tours so often. 
I need a key given to you by Sir Person. I want his key for something you're looking after it for him. Wasn't very clever of him. I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Tell him to find someone else to look after his valuables in the future. Have you got any keys knocking around? I do have a key. It's in my special closet of valuable stuff. How do I get into that? I sealed it using one of my magic rituals, so it would make sense that another ritual would open it again. Treasure style ritual should suffice. I need 25 sets of bones. I'll get the bones for you. I have some bones. Give them here then. That's all 25. Oh, that's cool. I summoned a little wardrobe. Hands you a key. Cool. <laughs> Anything for a friend of Sir What's His Face. Wonderful. Shit, I should have set up for. Barak. Whoops. Not leverage. Okay, so I need to like do something with the sink. Use the bucket on the sink. Go outside the kitchen door and look for a drain near the wall. Oh god. Do I have to like make the key rattle down through it or something? Gotta wash the key down in the sewer. That's cool. I love this game. I know I keep saying that, but it's really true. There's my nice pretty garden that I made. This game uses um phasing to great effect. See a manhole over here? Oh there it is. So it should be like relative to where I just was above me. It should just be pretty much straight ahead and slightly to the left, right? If the sewer actually maps to the area above, it should be kinda cool if it did. Oh, rusty key. Awesome. Pop at the bank real quick and then we'll go talk to him again. Sir Prison. What's up? Are you doing with getting the keys? I got all your keys. I can give you solar light. Cool. I didn't even see it on the wall there. A custom animation for it. I like it. I'm gonna do a very shiny sword. I'm so excited! You're blowing my great grandfather. Make sure you treat it with respect. Go kill that demon. Okay. Can you sure you got the magical incantation? Speak with Chichiharis. Head south of Varak, east toward the stone circle with the dark wizards. The very same wizards that harass new players. Cool. Didn't realize that that circle was important. I have to, I have to type the incantation? That's crazy. Okay. If you die, it is an instance area. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab some food and play it safe. No reason to go out all reckless just because I'm a higher level character. It's probably over preparing, but you might not even be able to hit me. I think it's just a pretty low level for you to play quest. Better to be prepared, right? Arise, almighty Delrith, bring destruction to this soft, weak city. Arise, Delrith. Last you are free, my demonic brother. Rest now, and then you have your revenge in this pitiful city. No, not silver, right? Delrith's not ready yet. Cool. Now I'm in an instance, I see. Oh, the wizards are being dicks, I see. 71 health, that's a lot. Early enemy. Is that incantation again? Okay, you select options. Aver, Perchai, Cabindo. This is funny. Camarinthum, Carlo. I did not need to go get all that food. Oh, it sucked into the vortex. Sweet. Back of the dark dimension from whence you came. You've completed Demon Slayer. Three quest points and silver light. And then we're out of the instance area already. Very nice. Yeah, we're on a roll with quests today. I mean, I guess the recipe for disaster ones are all part of one quest, but I would consider that as having completed, what, like six quests? Okay, so... Got a couple other quests that I still need to do. Uh, got an hour and 50 minutes left in the session. You know, at hour 100, I officially stopped leveling agility and said I'd come back to it later. Feeling kind of nostalgic for it now. I think for the remaining time, I'm going to go ahead and push 70 agility. I think we might be able to pull it off in the time remaining since we're already a good chunk of the way there. So I apologize, but... The rest of this video is going to get fast forwarded probably. I don't think I'll have too much to say about uh, agility leveling. So we're going to pop over to Sears Village 
and uh, finish that off. Finally, to celebrate reaching 200 hours played, we'll have to come up with something fun to do at the 300 hour mark. And then next episode, we'll do more prerequisites for a Recipe for Disaster. Oh man, we haven't done this in so long. It's kind of good to be back. It hurts less when you have 100 hours of questing and other content under your belt. That isn't all you've been doing. Okay, well, I'll be back after this is done. Here comes a big one. 69 agility. Haven't heard that fanfare in over 100 hours. Also 69. Nice. Let's see, I had no idea what to expect to get to 70. I'm gonna use the Northern Scramble at the Archaeus Essence Mine. Actually, potentially see that happening if we ever get around to Runecraft runes that require <laughs> that special essence. Um, Hour 45 to gold. Well, no, that can't be right, because that's based on uh, whatever jump I just did, right? It should change once I actually go over the edge. Uh, okay. 122 laps to level 70. Oh my god. Well, let's see. I did, I did about a lap a minute. Oh, I think we'll, I think we'll just barely close out the episode. If I am efficient and do nothing with this course, we're at the one hour, 20 minute mark. Man, and, and like, I am so drained at the concept of doing anything that requires over an hour to get a single level. And we're so far from 99, like, there's still 30 more levels where it just gets worse and worse and worse from here. Interesting to see, like, I think once we do hit 70 before we sign off on the episode, I'll pop to whatever the next rooftop course is. Just to do a lap on it, see what it's like for old time's sake. We will push through to 70, it'll be good to just have it and definitively have a skill that is at the maximum level required uh, to complete all quests. I think hit points is there too. I should double check if I have any other ones that are close. Anyway, that's my 69 agility rant, so let's go ahead and finish off 70 agility. Sec, I'm gonna take a break. Yeah, it's the first ever dragon impling that I've seen. Looks like no one's grabbing it. But it also requires like 90 hunter or something. Cool to see one. Still haven't seen a lucky impling. I think with the dragon one, finally I've seen every impling except for a lucky impling. There it is, 70 agility. <laughs> I accidentally clicked and dismissed the pop-up, but we're there, we got it. 70 agility, we've unlocked a bunch of stuff with that, I think. Let's see, yeah. Dorgish Khan agility course, Plevinich agility course, 
Ceradomen area, the God Wars dungeon. Several shortcuts. Taverly dungeon, shortcut to the Blue Dragons. All right, I think I used Summer Pies to boost there earlier. Fossil Island hardwood shortcut. Alcarid Palace, Southern Window. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, I do actually want to see, before we wrap this episode, that new course that I just unlocked. Uh, I think it's down here somewhere. Yeah. Caridian Desert. I just rolled straight southeast out of uh, Alcarid. So we'll do a lap of that and then we'll we'll call the session. But we're basically done with agility. Um, that is the highest requirement in the game. It's the newly added Song of the Elves quest. Reasons we might increase agility above that, I guess agility doesn't actually count for run energy, run energy outside of every six levels. So it doesn't actually matter until we get to 72. So I could see there being value in hitting 72 to get some more benefit there. Um, so let me, I'm going to talk when we start moving. Probably make it all the way there on, without bringing water, hopefully. Put auto back on. Alternative Root is great for grinding, but I do like this game's base soundtrack. The only other situation which I could envision... Um, I don't have any money, god damn it. Kill some goblins. The only other reason I could see leveling agility above 70 is if when we finish the quest cape, I want to go and get uh, get the achievement diaries. I think that that goes up pretty high on the agility scale. That's a decision we'll make when the quest cape is done, if we're going to keep playing and keep recording. It might be nice for me to be able to unlock the ability to play this game without recording it. Yeah, I'll drop in coins. Uh, I'll go grab some and walk back. Okay, I guess I'll I'll pop into chat again once we actually make it to this new town. All right, uh, I just unlocked the ability to pickpock bandit, pickpocket bandits. So I'm gonna see what that gives me. Fifty-five feet. Oh, I guess it must have been different ones. Or I just got generally confused, which is very possible. All right, we're doing a single agility lap on the new course. Let's see what it's like. We haven't seen a new agility, any new agility content in a very long time. Market stall. Cool. Grab the banner. You would hope that the rooftop courses would get cooler, like higher your stats. Climb the rough wall. Cross the monkey bars. Jump on the tree. It's a slow jump there. All right, we did a hard task in the desert area. 86 laps on this one. I guess it's a much longer lap than Sears Village. And then how close does it get me to the starting point? Ooh, it's a bit of a walk to the starting point. All right, well, if we ever do agility again, this is where we'll be doing it, I assume. Uh, and that'll be a wrap for today. Next episode, we'll be doing more quests that are prerequisites for um, Recipe for Disaster. I'm also probably going to start the next episode with some like slow AFK grinding because I've got work that I need to get done uh, today, actually. <laughs> so probably have some fishing or something similarly AFK at the start of next session. See you then. Bye.